and welcome back for another crafty collaboration with my friend Jen over at Katahdin Crafts. We are bringing you some more Hello Bluebird inspiration. Both Jen and I have tons of Hello Bluebird in our stash that we haven't used and this always gives us a great opportunity to pull that out. From Hello Bluebird, I do have the Summer Wood Scene die. This is a three and a half by eight and a half inch die. I'll be using the Party on the Farm. There are some birthday elements as well as the lamb that I'll be using. And finally, I will be using the pig out. Now for the stamped images, I did color them off camera because I'm going to do a little bit of Copic coloring on my background. It's one of my favorite ways to create a background. And so I thought I would share, you, share with you a few little tips and tricks on how I go about using these scene dies. I start out by cut, obviously die cutting them using my die cutting machine. I try to keep all of the pieces together. Now they do end up falling apart. You can see it's like a puzzle. There are a lot of intricate little pieces in these die sets and I wanted to share with you a few little tips if you have them and you are frustrated with them on how to keep them together. So I do like, as I mentioned, to go but color these. I am going to use all of the pieces. There's a couple ways you could use this die. You certainly could use uh, remove the sky portions and do some ink blending in the background instead of Copic coloring with them, but I'm going to re-inlay those pieces. For my grass, I start with a solid color and I colored the entire grass. Then I use a flicking motion. I have a couple YG markers. The caps are on the screen and I'm going to flick in some grass. You don't have to worry about this being perfect. My critters are going to be on that grass so a lot of that will get covered up. For my bushes I went with uh, another YG combination. I think it's 23 and 25. I start with one color laying it down. I do do two layers. I add two layers layers to these pieces and then finally I'm going to add a little bit of depth using a second color around the edges. I'll do the exact same thing for the trees, for the leaves, and then for the trunks I add the texture in again with a little bit of a flicking motion onto the trunks and that again will just give it a little bit of depth. Now I do color on a Cricut mat, but this one is well past its prime. I do need to switch them out. I just haven't done so yet, but I love using the Cricut mat usually because it does keep my die pieces in place. Here's that background. I'm going to start with my darkest color around the edges. So this is the sky that I was talking about, and you can see all of those little pieces right there that have fallen out. And you can look to the right and you can look at my die uh, cut pieces and you can see that some of this has fallen apart and you're wondering when you're new to this how this is going to come back together. So off camera I do an inlay. I just put all of the pieces back inside the die and then I use washi tape, you can use scotch tape, purple tape, whatever you have in your stash and I tape all of my pieces back in. That is the easiest way that I have found to put this puzzle back together. It goes together fairly easily. It's much easier than trying to put everything together back on your card. Once I finished with that, I did add some foam tape to the back because I do want that background to be lifted. And then the die has this frame that is part of the die cut. So I left it white. I'm going white on white. I have a four by nine card base. I wanted a lot of white space on this panel. I'm going to lay down my rectangle and then once I get this on the way that I like because all of those die pieces are already taped in place and I do have the added support from the foam tape I'm going to inlay that into that frame and there's my background. Now there's one piece that popped out all I'm going to do off camera is add a little bit of wet glue and insert that back into the spot and easy peasy quick and easy we have a card. 
Now I haven't glued down my animals, but I did dry fit everything together. I stamped the sentiment from the party on the farm that says happy birthday. When I was building this scene, it reminded me of the times my boys are May and June birthdays. They're both grown and out of the house. In fact, I'm enjoying the first year with my granddaughter, but this just reminded me of their birthday parties because I always tried to plan something outdoors since the weather was always beautiful. And of course, in the winter time, you tend to spend more time inside. And I loved having parties at the park. So this was a way for me to kind of reenact some of the parties that we used to have. I'm going to use my wet glue to glue all of my images down. Again, I did Copic Color all of those images. I added a little bit of texture or a little bit of um, rosiness to their cheeks and then I used a white gel pen to add some of the dots to give those freckles. When I finish gluing everything down here then I will add a little bit of accent with my white gel pen. My gel pen was acting up just a little bit. I did use Copic Express It paper when I die cut my image, stamped and die cut my images because I do love Copic Express It for Copic coloring and I don't know if it was the paper or what it was but for some reason my pens that have been working perfectly seem to be skipping and I do have a lot of ink inside of them so I'm not sure what that was all about but I did have to work a little bit harder to add those highlights or accents to my little animals. You'll notice that I do have a couple of pigs there. My friend Jen whose video is linked in the description box below. She has two pet pigs and so I thought this was a great way to kind of give a little bit of a nod to my friend Jen and this collaboration. Please make sure that you head over to her channel and watch her video. We enjoy doing these collaborations and every time that you like the video, watch the video and leave us comments, it lets us know that you like it too and it's something that you want to see on our channel. So thank you for supporting us. Thank you for watching Jen's video. I'm going to finish up with this little bit of highlight and until next time I hope you have a fabulous day.